Okay, how I fucking spent my weekend, too. I mean, this... I didn't know it was going to be this long, but there's a lot of fucking intricate details that need to be told. So anyways, there's still something left. There's still the leader behind this fucking, you know, all the rash of weird happenings in this fucking town, right? Because we just, you know, we killed the pixies and shit. You know, they were probably, well, as of right now, and as far as the story, they were the most likely culprits. So we go back out into the woods. And get lost, and we hear that old crone bitch cackling away about fucking shit. And Rith fucking big mouth Rith says something and loses our fucking whole surprise shit. And then you know we fight her, we fight her ghost because she was a ghost. I forgot about that part. We got back to town, we told them about the old lady, and they were like, "It was her ghost." Just like in Pee Wee Herman. So that's what that was like. So she was a ghost. We fought her. We kicked her fucking ass. We went back to her fucking uh, cottage. We stole, you know, some shit from there that we, we were like, you know what, we can use this. Fuck her. So we stole her fucking shit. And um, we went back to town, the heroes. And we got a fucking horse and a wagon for our reward. And we got went back to... Uh, town and we got more rewards but sadly it turned out the pixies weren't the actual real problem there are actually real rich witches in that town and all we ended up doing was murdering a bunch of innocent fucking sprites so you know but hey I mean look fuck those pixies they fired first you know this does not mean attack Th this motion any intelligent creature will know that this... So fuck them. Those pixies deserve... The, they deserve to have that fucking lesson taught upon them. Don't fire on unarmed fucking people. Because you know why? They'll get out their weapons and fucking murder by you. I have no regrets about murdering the fucking pixies. I haven't even told you fuckers yet about the whole fucking... The, the clusterfuck that was the Island of the Undead Adventure. That fucking shit. Ugh. Surprise, surprise, we started out, Rith almost gets fucking raped by a mer person. I mean, come on, Rith. I mean, look. I know you like going up to things, but you, you're constantly putting yourself in danger. It's, 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 it's crazy. So, we get to the island, there's a bunch of these monks, but they don't talk or do anything. You know, they, they just kind of, they do what, they, they just want to around. So we go back to the Abbey, and they, they invite us to stay for the night, but we don't do that. We decide to explore the island. So we explore the island and find this town that's completely fucking ruined. It's like a zombie movie, people. It's just ruinous. But we find one guy there, and Rith's starting to talk to him. But then Rith yells for us, so I think, I, you know, I just hear Rith say, Guys, come here, quick! I'm like, oh my god, he's being attacked by somebody. So I kick in the front door, and I'm like, I'm gonna fucking kill everything in this room! And the dude takes off fucking running. You know, in hindsight, yeah, I was wrong. But also, in hindsight, Rith should have been like, hey guys, come here, I have found a witness to the strange events on this island. I would have probably just, you know, opened up the door like that and been like, oh, really? Hmm. Yeah, that happened. So then we stay in that guy's house for nightfall because I'm not we're not staying in the abbey. No, we gotta find out what happened to this village. So we set up a diversion campfire in the middle of the village while we trap the house. It's like a home alone shit. So then there's just these fucking cloaked dudes and they're all like, you know, you can't see their face. They're all like Arr! And they're holding candles. I don't have a candle. I got an orange stick. They're like, Arr! and they're looking at the fire like a bunch of retards. Like, Arr! and then they start wandering around. Like, Arr! and the one comes right up to our door, opens it up, and boom! Fucking trap right to the fucking chest. It's like one of those fucking things they had in Vietnam where, you know, they would make a giant spike ball out of bamboo and sand and a little bit of twine 
and it just goes in the motherfucker's chest, and we just start fucking beating the shit out of it. And then another one comes, and we beat the shit out of that one fucking too. And the rest fucking flee like a bunch of fucking pussies. And we're keeping the one's head. So, I stay up to watch for the rest of the night, because, you know, it was my turn. I had third watch anyways. This attack happened on the second watch, which was Dixie. So, I decided to stay up. But I ended up falling asleep and having a nightmare because the fucking skull is still alive, but nobody believed me about it. That's going to come back to bite us in the ass later, people. So anyways, we go up to the fucking Abbey again. Because we're like, this is some weird shit. And the whole time we're going back up to the Abbey, I'm, I'm constantly saying, it's those monks. They're the undead. We shouldn't be going back to the Abbey. But everybody's like, oh, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. So... We go back to the abbey, we find the fucking lead priest, he takes us to the altar, and then he's all like, it's weird, he's like acting all like happy, and like, uh, ha -ha. and he opens up the door to the abbey, and there's just like blood and guts and fucking everything everywhere, and there's a bunch of fucking undead, and we just take off fucking running, like the pussies we fucking are, and thankfully, the boat just was happening to pull into the harbor at that fucking time. And we're just like running to it like, get, get out! You gotta fucking help us here! They're all undead! It's a bunch of monstrosities! And so the captain gets us up on the fucking boat and we sail the fuck out of there. But Rick, being the dummy he fucking is, brought the skull back because we needed proof. You know, even though nobody's heard from this fucking monastery in a couple of years. So, it goes to fucking reckon that they're probably undead. They, they will fucking believe our report when we tell them that they're a bunch of fucking undead. So anyways, Riff starts going crazy. Like he's talking, to, he's talking like about blah, 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 murder and shit like that. And he's holding that fucking skull. So I'm about to fucking smash the skull. But then Dixie's like, whoa, I got a better idea. He grabs the skull, goes up aboard the ship. And he throws it to the fucking merfolk who tried to rape Rick earlier. And that's how I spent my fucking weekend, people. See why I'm worn out? Worst part about it is I gotta do it again this fucking weekend.